Hi, welcome to Fartic. In this video, we will learn the working of reverse osmosis plant along with understanding the equipment involved in this filtration process. Reverse osmosis plant equipments are raw water tank, feed water pump, sand filter, carbon filter, cartridge filter, high pressure pump, RO vessels, reject water tank, product water tank. As we all know, reverse osmosis is a highly advanced filtration method widely used across various applications. It effectively eliminates two types of impurities, suspended solid impurities and dissolved solid impurities. So let's start with the working animation. In reverse osmosis plant, suspended solids is removed through conventional macrofiltration process and dissolved solids removed through cross flow filtration process. Let's start with the macrofiltration process. Using a feed water pump, raw water is pushed at a constant pressure through the conventional macrofiltration process. In macrofiltration, suspended solids are removed by passing raw water through filter media in a perpendicular direction. The entire water flows through this media creating a single inlet and exit stream. Example of filtration equipment includes sand filter, dual media filter, multimedia filter, carbon filter, cartridge filter and back filter. Macro filtration specifically targets undissolved particles larger than 1 micron. The removal of suspended and collider particles release on their deposition on the surface of filter grain, allowing the rest of water to flow through the bed of these grains. The most common filter media used in the reverse osmosis plant are sand filter and carbon filters. If you want to learn detailed animation and process operation of, of filter media, then you can watch my this video where I explain the operation of sand filter. Once large suspended particles are removed, the remaining water is fed into the cartridge filter. It's an absolute pore size of less than 10 microns meter filter. The primary purpose of using this pore size is to ensure the particles larger than 10 microns are removed before entering the RO membranes. This pretreatment with the conventional macrofiltration process ensures that the water entering into the reverse osmosis membrane is free from large impurities and colloidal impurities. Let's discuss cross flow filtration. Using a high pressure pump, feed water is continuously propelled at an elevated pressure to the membrane system. Within this membrane system, the feed water is divided into low saline or purified product. Low saline or purified product referred as permeate water and high saline or concentrated brine known as concentrate or reject water as you can see in the working animation due to the continuous flow across the membrane surface rejected particles do not accumulate but are instead swept away by the concentrate stream consequently one feed stream is divided into two exit streams the solution passing through the membrane surface and the remaining concentrate stream. This example, as we discussed, is a multi-stage system where two or more modules are arranged in parallel sequence. Modules are added to the system design as needed. Like here, five RO vessels are added and each RO vessels have couple of membranes inside it. With the increase of number of RO vessels, the overall capacity of the plant will increase and its overall recovery also go higher. That's all from today's video. Hope you guys like my video. If you like my video, do hit on a subscribe tab and press the like button.